Yes. You need to be backed up. Are you Why okay? am I nervy? I'm nervy. Nervous? Yes, Josh, get I'm close. Nervy. All right, welcome back to the throne room. Today I'm joined by Josh Pink, my girlfriend Alexandria Ellard, and a guest star. First first ever episode. Uh, first ever episode. Yes, yes. First ever podcast. Mm-hmm. Yours truly, the throne room. Howdy. Uh, Alyssa Cervantes, otherwise howdy, known howdy. as uh, Matilda Serpantes. Yes. <laughs> um, my alter ego. Yeah, this is, this is my girlfriend's roommate. Uh, and she's a great person, a Thank great you. friend of mine, a Thank dear friend. You. Thank you. Nice to meet you. It's nice a pleasure you. to have you yes. on the show. Thank you um, for having me. We got an interesting week ahead of us. Interesting, and interesting. Behind us. And behind <laughs> us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and behind us. A lot of stuff going on. As you may know, if you're in college, most of the people that watch this are in college. So, uh, you know, we are sorry. We're going through it with you. Uh, you know, it's it's it sucks, but we're gonna we're gonna keep grinding. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Ah ha ha. Uh-huh. 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 It is what it is. It is, it is what, what it is. is. Okay. Um, so it is from my position that every single thing we're seeing right now on media, Twitter, whatever it is, Snapchat, YouTube, whatever, is about the coronavirus. Coronavirus. And I'm, I'm tired of hearing about it. Like, just do – this is the only thing I'm going to say. Just do what makes sense. Wash your hands. Maybe don't cough in somebody's face. You know, maybe don't go hug a homeless person. Or not a homeless person. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe, All right. maybe not go hug a, person ho- of hug, home. Hug a homeless people. I, I meant to say elderly people. Maybe not go hug an elderly person oh, because God. they're more susceptible to it. Just do what makes sense, okay? So we can get this over with and I can go back to school. And don't bulk buy toothpaste. Do do it? That doesn't make sense. Paper. What are we doing? Are we going to are we gonna brush our teeth? More. No. I would say more than normal. not to do more <laughs> like, in do, this instance. Do, do, do more? Do. Do. I'm just saying, well, do. You're saying don't do. do more. I'm saying don't, just do what makes sense. Like we did, like we ran this morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I like horrible. stopped every five, it was, it was all right. Horrible. It was just a little chilly. <laughs> I was uh, asleep. Yeah, you were asleep. <laughs> but it, it was asleep. a good time. So I'm saying do more, but in a way that makes sense to where do you're not going to get anyone infected. Okay, and that's all we're going to talk about yes. freaking coronavirus. Yes. I'm tired of hearing about it. Amen. I haven't heard about this yet. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> just, you know. It's it bad? Things. Amen. It's kind of. Is it kinda, getting bad? A little bit, maybe a little bad. Anyway, uh, we got a lot of good feedback uh, from couples therapy. By the way, if you get any more topic suggestions uh, from your thing. Oh, yeah, let me grab, can I, I'm oh, going to grab sure. my phone. Absolutely, go, that's fine. No, you are planted <laughs> until it is over. Yeah, yeah. If you have anything, just bring it up randomly before we start. We, we can get those knocked out of the way now. You yeah. know what I mean? That um, was the only one I got, but sweet. Okay, well, we're not, and we're not going to do that. We're not going to so talk about that. That's, it's fine. It's fine. That's ridiculous. Okay, here hey, we go. Hey, I'm, quit. We'll do fine. it live. I'll group text. And we'll do it live. <laughs> we'll do it live. <laughs> and we'll do it live. This, this, this is new for the throne room. It Doing is. it live. Doing it live? Doing it live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just try to live. <laughs> we'll run out a little place, do a fan meetup. A fan meetup, yeah. Make some TikToks. A live show. We'll do a live show. Charlie D'Amelio, we're coming for you. Station. Just kidding. I love you, Charlie. That's great. Love you too, Dixie. Um, okay, so we got a lot of good <laughs> feedback from Couples Therapy. Uh, check out that episode if you haven't already. Uh, it's, it was a great time. Me and my best friend, my literal brother, uh, and your literal brother, too, as well. Uh, Austin, shout out. Um, we literally, I mean, we just, we just kind of we just kind of asked each other questions about life, uh, and there were kind of serious kind of funny kind of whatever you know what i mean you can make it whatever you want um you can cry I, i'm Perfect. encouraging you to cry Perfect. it's okay like okay i'm good at that oh, shout out to Alyssa. i'm good at that oh is it let's go get the cry jar it's raining oh it's oh, raining it's raining oh, oh and wait it's yes the first time ever live audience we have- oh my yeah. gosh <laughs> this is a first for the show we got live lots of firsts <laughs> and a di- what is <laughs> yeah we can't do that <laughs> smitty i'm sorry I'm sorry. Smitty. It is now Smitty. Smitty. meteorologist Smitty. Jane Grove. You know, shout out. Smitty, all of us are going to have hey, very important we're jobs in a different one day. background. You didn't Oh, also, that. first on the show, we're at her apartment this time instead of mine. It's way nicer, Woo-hoo. but it can accommodate for more people. So yes. um, we'll, we'll, t- we'll be in talks. I, I like this. This mm-hmm. is interesting. Okay. Uh, anyway. Let's get. Shout out to Zach Smith. We're going to yeah. start off hot. <laughs> When's the last time you cried? Go right now. Shit. I mean... <laughs> last, uh, I mean, uh, last night, but last night, not yeah, this morning. But like, uh, kind of no, cry? not this morning. Like a tear or like a cry? not something that like not like not from like a song you heard, not from like a movie or like some sad thing on TikTok. You know what I mean? Like, when's the last time you cried from something that happened to you? Last night. Okay. Mm, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a hot minute. Um, must be nice. <laughs> it really. Yeah. Is. You, uh, must be nice. Probably. Oh, I know. I, I know when the last time you cried was. 
What? When I accidentally like bumped your yeah, he like lip. shouldered me in the face. I did not it hurts relax. So I'm not out here. I'm not okay. out here cornering. I McGregor. just want. I just want to come out here and Connery. say that I'm not, Alex I'm not does not cry. cry. No, I like don't. Alex never cries. So hearing so that, cry, yeah, hearing that, yeah. I'm like, well, well here's that the thing. hurts. No, so well, you want to tell the story? Well, here's don't the thing. freaking lie on the show. I will fire you. No, we were just like chilling, and like he accidentally elbows me. In the mouth, I think it was, and so oh, no, it, it, it you're, was you're, fine. You're, you're getting the story wrong already. How? Because I didn't elbow Let, you. Let's not bite on the podcast. Yeah. Your shoulder I was, hit I my was, mouth. I was hugging her, and my head was <laughs> down, and she was tickling my neck. So I like raised my head up, and when I did that, my shoulders went Good. like that, it and it hit her in the lip. And so when she started like tearing up, I he started also crying. cried. So I we cried because I because I knew that I hurt her, and like I didn't mean to. So I started crying, and then she started crying. I, I cried was crying. because he cried, so I was anyway, crying yeah. harder. So yeah, it was great. It was, it was a bad time. I'm really mad that time. I missed that cry because you never cried. I know. Yeah, it I've was never a hard seen you cry. cry too. Yeah, you, it was a hard. I cry. And like, I will like. She had like wrinkles in her head. Wrinkles. Yeah, in wrinkles my in my your head. head. Like the, yeah. Uh, Botox. Yeah, it hurt. Oh. Alright, Josh. When's the last time you cried? The last time I cried. I, actually, I wanted to cry about little. Like I cried uh, during the Gabriel Fernandez documentary when That's, I, yeah, yeah. That when was, I had yeah. my little realization that my legs had more room than he did. And I, I tied. I teared up at the little peep documentary last night. You know. Mhm. I, I really. His, I really, yeah. I connected ahead. with the whole. Once the title made sense, I was like, I do that. Can I throw oh. this away? You want to hold yeah. it? Eat it. What's Eat, it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. No, do it. not. Uh, y'all keep talking about. I was like, that. I do oh that. I, I make. I try to be everybody's everything. But did oh, you? Oh wow! And I, and I was. Whoa! Like, yeah. I was like, Am I gonna Whoa. die? No, you're not gonna die. Head full of many thoughts. I'm not gonna thoughts. let that happen. Um, <laughs> the last time I. But like not yet. Yeah, but like, like not from hard. like. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've cried as hard as I did like. When I oh I was driving back up sophomore years because I was like realizing like a year ago my parents drove me up with everything I still had all my hair and everything and I was driving up by myself with all my stuff in my car and I was just really lonely mm. I was like wow <laughs> wow it just me. hits you wow that is what you know what I hate it was I'm it was the, actually... it was like two song it was it was because of the playlist there was. One song had a slow transition out, and the other had a long build up up. So I had a lot of silence, and I was like, Slightly. "It's lonely." <laughs> it's just Josh, I know I've talked to you about this before. Why don't you talk to me about these things? Because I'm hard. This, right? Because I don't have feelings. Do you know me? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna talk about it. Right? We don't this have is, that this issue. Is couple we don't have that we issue because I over I, I project on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, this chick does Here, here's our it. topic submission. Where's Lube Key? Where is Lube Key? Uh, First of all, guy's got some calves on him. Dude has some freaking calves. Key. Hey, we're trying to. Hey, if you are a female hey. listener and you are interested in a quality guy, he's in shape, peak condition. He is, and he has got yeah. some calves on him. He's got some freaking calves We will calves set on you up him. with a date. He's got some calves on him. That's, the, uh, well, I don't, yeah. Okay. Shout out to Luke Key. Great guy. Uh, funny man, I guess. Um, last time I cried, uh, I almost cried when we played spike ball. Remember that wasn't that? a cry. Yeah, it wasn't a cry, but I almost did. Did you break it? Huh? Did you break it? No, <laughs> I, I didn't break the spike ball. Are you kidding? That thing is 60 bucks. That thing is crap's expensive. We've gone through two in the outfit. That, dude, they're so brittle, and they're hard to... Yeah, it's just a bad time. Yeah. Um, what was the last time I cried? It was probably something from you. No, we were sitting on the couch watching YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't... Wait. And you yeah, were talking about yeah. your mom. Oh, it got yes. to your mom. Yeah. yeah. No, I was just thinking about, like... How, like, uh, see, <laughs> see, I'm, I don't, I'm fine now. I'm just saying, like, I don't know how much of this I want to get into because it's like really personal. But, ah, uh, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, while we're here, we'll do it live. So, I've, I've like kind of hinted to it a lot. Maybe not, maybe I don't. Probably not. We, we don't really talk about a lot of this stuff personal. anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um. But when I was seven years old, my mom passed away. Uh. And you know she was just an amazing woman and you know even being like seven years old like i learned so much about being like a social person like i it like i could go on and on because my 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 real father i mean he's he's sort of 
not antisocial, but he's not he's not like that type of person to be like you walk in a room and like you just light it up because you're talking to everybody. Uh, and so I got all my social skills from her at such a young age, which like blows my mind. And because I, I feel like I, I mean I guess those were like the biggest formative years because I just learned so much about being like a decent human being, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I know she was just so involved in like so many things like just me in general she was i mean because i was homeschooled right so like every like hour i spent was with my mom whether we were going shopping whether we were she was going out to get groceries whether we were going to like violin lessons because i used to play violin shout out um uh and so whether it be my soccer practice my soccer games i used to play soccer also uh what what, just whatever i mean she was just always there and you know she she literally didn't have a job. So so when my dad moved down to San Antonio, she literally didn't have a job. So she was just at home and she didn't have anything else to do. And this is before I was born. So she would literally just go out to different like places, to like grocery stores, to nail salons, to art like arts and crafts stores, and she would just go meet people, talk to people, like and just like talk. And so when she died, I mean, it was like it shook the whole city because people so many people knew her, and you know it was it was a huge it was a huge thing, and so like the biggest thing for me is like meeting somebody like Alex. I mean, it's like, I can't, I, it, it's so hard for me to know that like my mom will never get to actually meet her. And like, she's somebody that I really want to like, like spend a lot of my time with. And like, eventually the plan is to is marriage you know and that's something that we've talked about and that's down it the line. always that's should down, be the plan that's <laughs> down the line yeah it's down the line and like that that's just that's just that's just a, that's just a goal of any relationship like and we've had that foundation since the beginning most of them yes. and like well yeah <laughs> and like i think that i mean it just it, it hits me it hit me like it's hit me a couple times but most recently it was like a couple days ago where it was like you know this is like the person for me and it really hurts me that like my own mother will never get to like meet you will never get to like hug you will never get to tell you that she loves you like any of that stuff is just was is gone and it just it i don't know it it hurts a little bit because it's like i wish that you had i wish you got the honor to meet her and like to know who she was and to know why like she made me who i am and i don't know it just hit me so that was the last time i cried um yeah. In conclusion, in conclusion, <laughs> yeah. that was the last time I cried. Wrap it up. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. All right. Uh, do y'all have uh, a question? I texted people, but I everyone hates me. Oh, so. I saw, oh, oh. Oh, you, oh, you look some. Someone yeah, I, asked your post-apocalyptic. This this branch from Corona, but we great. Still, your post, great, post, great. post-apocalyptic me... like tribe or gang. What would be their aesthetic? Oh, like my uniform? Like we're getting yeah, you know how there's like Mad Max, but then like there's other stuff. That's the like go-to is the like Mad Max biker look. But dude, I'm going unicorns. Okay, Christiana. Oh, shout out (laughs) onesies. Yeah, yeah, onesies. Unicorn onesies. onesies. Yeah. Um, dude, honestly, I would go like Mega Hardo and just go like shirtless. Of course you would. You know what I would do? Redneck or like no, like. Just this, like Rambo, you can wear any. Oh, okay, like Rambo, just shirtless, like scarred. I'm scarred up now. It's been a year. You know what I mean? Arlissa. All right, I would go for you know those like the 2012 Tumblr aesthetic. Yes. I would just want everyone to be dressed like that, so everyone would be like, <laughs> "What are they I, doing?" I'm, not, I'm I'm very unaware. What what is this Tumblr? The, what the are Visco about? girl. Yeah, like well, no, not Visco. It's uh, just like you know, like Doc Martens, like jean jackets, like smoking uh, cigarettes. Oh. Like everyone would be doing that. Yeah. Okay. It would just completely throw people so, off. Like, right. 1960 greaser. What? I mean, kind of. It's kind of like the alternative, like indie kids, right? Um, you know, mm. like it's like totally opposite of what you just said. Yeah, right, 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 right. because yeah. it would just throw people off. Right. Yeah. 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 And I, everyone I, would stray away because they'd be like, "Okay, Who what? Are th- yeah. Okay, what's your? Not that this is gonna happen. This I'm not feeding into the hysteria. Please. Shut Absolutely up. not. Um, it, let's. This isn't. This is isn't Corona. This is something completely different. So like, if like nuclear apocalypse. Yeah, like nuclear okay. winter. Like what? What is your plan? I'll tell you right now, my, my just, plan is uh, to get with, like, like my, my like, the baddest dudes that I know. Not, like, the baddest dudes, because I, I, I can't trust them. No, not even close. Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, you, you be there, for sure. But the baddest people I know 
and then like the people that I would like prefer to protect and that's it and like we don't make any contact with the outside world we be as quiet as possible but if you step past this perimeter you will die the line in the that sea. is it you know what Sick. i think would be smart finding the doomsday preppers like their places that they go to they wouldn't let you in okay they would not let okay. you in we're having a count no. right now Yo, God, right yeah. no they're living for this right now but be mm. no getting if i knew that it was going to happen and we had like a precedent for it and we were gonna like and the, the world was warned i'd be best friends with doomsday preppers oh, for sure. like i'd find out whoever they are and i'd just be like hey and like try to get as close as possible hey, listen, so they'd invite me a place to go, yeah what would you do no i'd probably like get like you said get hide the people that me. i know you'd hide behind yeah me. just <laughs> go for ah! um not me <laughs> take yeah. him not me i think it was the fourth grade and my teacher was like talking to my mom about how I'm very good with my words for like my age. Trees Petey, yeah. She, she, well, yeah. She said I was like, she was like, <laughs> okay, it was like complimenting my ability to be manipulative on situations. <laughs> and she characterized me as like, I would grow up to be a good politician or cult leader. Those were the words. It's not like. So you thought okay. that was a good thing. You've told me this. I, yeah, I yeah, thought that was it. So, but that's always been my plan is like, I'll just pick people up as I go, and then, you know, once we have enough to, like, make a town, yeah. I yeah. will make a town, yeah. and, you know, it'll be great. It's just a, a compound. We're going to switch just... all the social norms, so, like, the hierarchy will be, like, the most, like, tattoos you have in unprofessional yeah. places, like, only the Can I please get in? Can I please get in this town? Thank you. That, that, I, I would love that. Because like, I always used to play, like, Fallout and watch Mad Max and be like, I want to do that. I oh. want to I wanna run a town around a nuclear bomb <laughs> that never went off. Oh, oh, my gosh. I would have a oh cow Lord. in the apocalypse. That's wild. Um, okay. So I'm trying to think of questions. Ellard yeah. has a question. Go ahead. Go I ahead. do. Go ahead. What emotion do you experience the most? Okay. Can I – is this yeah. all time or is this, like – is there a time frame or – on yeah, I need, I, I need guess context. on average. On average. Uh, yeah, okay, on like, average. On average in life. Yeah. Um, I'm like having to like rethink my right. whole life really quick. By the way, comment y'all's answers if you want. Please. I would love to I'm, this is a tough one for me. I have, I've had so many. Emotion. Oh my gosh. I've had so many. I uh, have mine. Go ahead. I feel detached a lot. Detached? Yeah. Like from, like from all emotions. Yeah, like just you're, like you're kind of a psychopath. Like yeah, that. no, no, no. Just like I'm like, getting scared, more and more scared of Josh as we. Keep <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, because like my daily routine. You would be a cult leader, yeah. detached <laughs> emotionally. I'm very like easygoing and stuff, but then like now, like in my daily life, I have to like come out and be like, uh, like stern and hard if I go out in the hallway to go pee or something. Mm -hmm. So like rather than like trying to play the game of like being two people, like when I'm in my room and out of my room or something. I think I'm just kind of like naturally like detached from having to like make that choice. Yeah. And I just kind of separate myself. Yeah. I see not that. like that makes not sense. like I don't feel emotions. Right. Right. It's just like I detach myself from it entirely. Well, that makes sense for because like the core you have to like be like that. Yeah. Yeah. You you yeah. know that? How do you? No, you just like <laughs> what you're saying. Like that. We've heard a lot about the core. Yeah. yeah. No, um, I think mine would probably be like. I don't know. I like to think that I'm a very optimistic person and I can always find like the <laughs> silver lining in things. And so I would like to say like optimism, probably just like if something bad happens to me, I always think about like, okay, how can I turn this around? How can I make it better for myself? Because I think that like wallowing and like self pity and like sadness is like so bad for you. It's not attractive. Too. Yeah. It's not attractive either. No. Yeah. Sorry the to anyone who has ever seen me cry. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's not a personality trait. If you are sad, if you are feeling sad, down, anything, get help. It really does help. Mm -hmm. I, I had to ask for help, and it's been it's been a journey. But it's yeah. I know it's better for myself. And you always have to look at the bright side of things. So. Yeah. Optimism. Very true. That's very good. that's very respectable. I would say like mine, like. <sighs> I know. I don't even know. I know mine. I know mine, but like it's gonna she be, it's gonna be weird. To I like, asked. It, it's gonna but be I don't weird know. to talk about because there's so much that like people don't know. <laughs> so they're just gonna be scared. Pro so no, crazy. not scared. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it's like backed up by so much crap. But I think mine is like, not. I don't know. Not like rebellion, but like the constant like. I feel punk. The, the constant like need. <laughs> I don't even know if this is an emotion, right? But like the constant need to like prove people wrong. 
Yes. Sir. Oh, I love that. That's but, literally but me. Like, but like, like yeah. but like when people say that I can't do something, I it, will prove you wrong. I, and it will keep me up at night thinking about how I'm going to prove you wrong. That's exactly how I am. I mean, so it's like, and maybe it's like a type of determination. Mm-hmm. Well, because uh, if you know? you've been counted out your whole life and you've constantly proved people wrong, it just fires you and fires. That's, I mean, right. I haven't been counted out my whole life. People have told me I couldn't do things yeah. and then I go and prove them wrong. Right. Yeah, and it's like the best feeling in the world. Yeah. Right. And it's like, I mean, it didn't, I didn't really start thinking that way until the recent, like the last, I don't know, eight years of my life, you know, and that's supposed to be like where you're starting to figure out who you want to be, like starting to figure out what you want to do in life. And like people have told me that, you know, we're close to me, like, Hey, you might not be like smart enough to do this. You might not be like smart enough to be a civil engineer. Like you might not have these math skills, whatever, you know, and I, you know, whether or not it was in a loving way, like I doesn't matter to me. Like if somebody says like somebody close to me, especially says that I can't do something, I will literally stay up all night long proving you wrong. And it'll be, it, it'll be the most gratifying thing to me. And like, it's not, I don't want to be like, Oh, it's all because of the grind. You know, I'm not, I'm not like, like wake up every morning. Like, let's get these, br- like, let's get this bread. Let's, these, bread. These let's, 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 <laughs> let's take down the haters. It's just like, Oh my God. It's just, and it's not even like an ego right. thing for me. It's just like you, like you're the person that's supposed to like support me and you're not. So I'm going to prove you wrong and throw it back in your face. And you know, it's given me a lot of success so far, you know, and oh. I'm, I'm, I'm not content with where I'm at, but I'm proud of that I've made it this far on my own. And you know, we'll see how proud of you. I'm proud of proud of you. Yes. I do I've, I've seen it. Proud of you. But it's not Thank to you. like prove something to my. If like someone says like, don't do this, don't do that, it's almost like a do it because I know it. Like it, they think about that. Like. Like oh, that's 100%. Why, that's why I still yeah. have this on. Yeah, yeah. Because there are people that, yeah. I, that there are people that I live with. They're like, take that. That's, that's just weird. And it's like. Something it's I'm able to do something so it's like an exercise of power, right, right, right. To be able to do something so little that you don't now think I get about, it. Yeah, yeah. That like completely, I don't want to say purposely detracts, but like it it somehow affects them. Exactly. That something they have it makes and it does and it, no it, control it, over. and it doesn't affect them at all. It's for some reason right. they just you know and it's like with everything like politics whatever you want. It's like you know there's a lot of things that people care a lot about and it doesn't affect you at all. So, and you're not going to change that person's mind, right? So, like, with your earring, yep. it's like, you know, like, that... It's a clip-on. That, oh, you don't like it? Yeah, it's, it's oh, like, it's absolutely. like, but it doesn't affect you. Like, who cares if I like Shut this up, right. earring, you know? Right. Yeah. Who cares? Nobody cares. It's right. like, just do what, do what makes you the most comfortable. Ooh. Do more, you know what I mean? Do, do what more, but like, here we do, go. Do what makes you the most comfortable and... Do what makes you happy always. Don't... Yeah. Exactly. Do not live for other people. No, it, that you, is you're, just you're not so going to prove anyone right or wrong. Mm-hmm. You're, you're just not. People want to do what Can't they want to do. please everyone. And people yeah. are going to believe what they want to believe. Really? Alex has got a really good one that I kind of want to get into. Hit it. The, wor- the wording of it's very weird, but... What do you love... Most about most, yourself. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I have a follow-up question to that. Go ahead. My face? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Absolutely, my whole not. self. <laughs> yeah, t- yeah um, I would. I would believe you. I mean, I have one. I guess. Okay. Go okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think like my personality. Like I'm super carefree and like, obviously like things. I'm a very like emotional person and things like hit me very hard as mm-hmm. we all know. But at the end of the day, I like yeah. try to live very like carefree and like, you know, life. I always like say like life is too short. You have to live each day like it's your last and like that has to that goes hand in hand with being carefree about everything Mm -hmm. so i guess just like my ability to like not be sad all the time even though (laughs) that's kind of what i've been feeling but but that's okay to feel it's okay to feel sad just being like okay i'll get over this like beyonce said cry for 24 hours and then (laughs) let it go so yeah no but just like living each day to the fullest well and i'll say like it would be because you say this to me all the time it would be very strange if you didn't feel like emotion oh yeah that's you know it'd be like it would be me just looking at josh (laughs) no you feel emotion i'm not saying being because being detached is an emotion i'm saying like it would be very strange if you like could like didn't feel oh yeah right yeah that's like like, that's like that's like serial killer type oh yeah Mm -hmm. and that's not no man Yeah. yeah so but yeah that's that's really good yeah um, Glass is always half full, right? Yeah, yeah half, half full. full. Half full, yes. yes. Um, I, uh... I, uh... I, uh my uh, eyes. 
my, my mustache. I would, be, I would be like, I think mine would be like, you know, because I, I, I think I've always been this way. Not always, but like, I started playing. Not that I'm, I'm not gonna blame this on like football or whatever. But I started playing. I, I, I playing Fortnite. No, I started <laughs> playing football like very early, and like, if 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 you've been playing football for, a, you know, a long long period of time, like I have, like you'll know that they instill in you like. If stuff goes bad in a play, or if you're like hurt in any way, you got to keep like playing through it, play through the whistle, and even if you're doing something wrong, do it 100. percent And that that's that's just like gospel yeah. in all mm-hmm. football. <laughs> Amen. Know? And you're so driving on the road the wrong way. Yeah, yeah if, 100. percent That that's I mean, but that's kind of it. Like if you might not know what you're doing in life, and you know, just do it 100. percent You'll make it, you'll land some you'll land somewhere. Uh, and so I, My but that's 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 whole that whole thing is kind of like based on determination and like if you want something like going and doing it so like when i like when i was i don't know i I, i'm gonna sound like a a butthole for saying this but like when i was skinnier you know like this (laughs) okay you see see what i mean see what i mean (laughs) see what i mean see this see this crap going on when I was okay, I'll say I'll put a weight on it. I don't even want to do that because I'll no, make people just, people feel bad. No. Uh, when I was skinnier than I am now, we'll let you. Sh- okay, whatever. We'll let you. I'll leave it like that. Yeah, we'll leave it. Go on. <laughs> when I was skinnier, I wanted to be. I wanted to get like bigger. Like, and I, and I, I wanted to look a certain way. Not not to like prove anyone wrong, but you know, just to to be able to protect myself or somebody that I cared about. Um, and so I. Started working out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm listening. No, I'm done. We're I'm done. Here. Go ahead. We're here. I'm just saying. I'm, this, this is an example of something like just some sort of determination, you know. Yeah. And like that, I carry that over. It's like that's the whole point of do more, you know. But do that'd more. be mine. Josh. Uh, I like my that earring. When something goes really bad, I don't get shell shocked. I can like like oh when yeah. They, when we like started getting all the news that like the semester was basically done damage control we were all like sitting in a room and everyone was like well yep i was like well mm-hmm. see you next year and i yeah. just like opened my pepsi i was like <laughs> <laughs> pepsi and like everyone was like just like kind of sitting there like glazed over looking at the floor i was like well <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah that's that's basically the point of mine like keep playing even though something went wrong yeah you know miss ma'am Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am. Uh, Shout out Brittany Broski. I don't know. No. I guess I would say like the way that I like. Hey, I have one next. Like can next. care for other people. Because like while I'm like. Amen. You know, I don't. Amen. I don't know. Like the way I can like. I don't know. The way that you read people. Others. <laughs> no, not read people, <laughs> but like comfort others. Because then, like, while I'm comforting someone else, like I can figure something out about myself. No, you like, like always know what to say, and it's so scary. Yeah. The all knowing. Yeah. As I don't, we know, I don't but know. And I might not even like have gone through it, but it's like. Because I can attest with that because yeah. you've and with Kendall as well. Shout yeah. out Kendall. We miss Shout you, out Kendall. Kendall. We miss Shout you, out Kendall. Hi, Kendall. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But yeah, you like. Peace, Kendall. Yeah, you just like know, know what to say. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know what it is, but it helps me. Like if I'm ever oh, put yeah. in a situation, I'm like, oh, okay, like I can take my, my own advice I because I've helped someone else. Class yeah, of twenty-two. Hey. Anyways, is pullout day canceled? Does bad. anyone know that? Yeah, <laughs> it's canceled. okay, it's canceled. They, they canceled pullout day. Oh, okay. Zoom. Online. Zoom, Zoom. Zoom pullout Zoom. day. Yeah. Um, hey, that's coming up. Yeah. I have a okay. So, someone so so here's a follow up question. Oh, no. oh yes, there was a follow up. Um, what's your least favorite uh, part of yourself? I'm quiet. Ooh, I wish I That's was easy. more outgoing. Mm-hmm. Now is not the time to be asking me that question. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, we ask the hard questions on the show. <sighs> At Ooh. this round table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think for me, it's always feeling like if something bad happens, like I'm re- fully, res- like I always feel like I'm fully responsible or like I'm in the wrong, li- mm-hmm. like I did something wrong to make it happen. Yeah. Because when it's unexplainable, they're like, when, when it's out of your control, you automatically think like, what did I do wrong? And it, I mean, it just always happens to me and I always get so hard on myself, just being hard on myself when something goes bad. Yeah. Um, pretty, yeah and suppose. like blaming myself too much and putting too much on myself and I need mm-hmm. to like s- take a step back. But yeah. Yeah, that's probably well, mine. I mean, I probably learned that lesson recently. And Same. Yeah. Well, <laughs> in, in different ways, but, like, you know, for me, it was, like, 
I knew that I needed to remove myself from certain people. Um, and not, not out of like hate or out of, you know, any sort of, you know, like bitterness, but just for like my own, like just being able to focus on like what I want to do and like my own goals, I needed to, you know, kind of remove myself from some people, uh, at least just add some distance, you know, out of love. And, you know, I, I, I was kind of, you know, it, there was a lot of guilt from that, you know, from, from those same people. And, you know, it, it made me it made me realize like hey you know because I, I was thinking the same thing like am i in the wrong here and there were so many like other like adults like other parents oh wait of, i just got it yeah you know okay, what i mean there was there was so many there was, there, there was so many other like parents of my friends and like my, my good friends and like your parents that were telling me like you're not doing anything wrong here like you're standing up for yourself and you you're not putting anyone in danger here you're not you're not do you're not doing anything wrong like there's no reason for you to feel less than what you are. You're standing up for yourself, and I realized that like it was the feeling guilty for something, even though people were saying that I was at fault, but in reality I wasn't. Was prohibiting me from being able to stand up for myself and follow my goals, and so that was sort of the lesson I learned. But I think yeah, for me it would probably be like, you know, feeling guilty over knowing that you know I need to protect what I want to do in life and like my goals of things. Mm-hmm. So I'd pretty much be pretty close, but Josh, uh, I don't always know what to say. With, and like I speak a lot, mm. speak more than I should probably like a lot yeah. of times. But like when <laughs> someone's like going through something and like I want to say something, that's usually like the one time that I'm at a loss for words is not knowing yeah. like what to say to Lynn. Like you know, like you want to like have the magical phrase that will make everything feel better. Or, you're like, you're you a very you're a very like off. oof person. Yeah, no, yeah, oof. very. <laughs> it's my favorite and least favorite thing. Yeah. Very. Well, I, 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 I can kind of resonate with that too. I would also say that like what I, what I, I haven't really told anybody this, but what I want to start like learning is how to be the last person to like speak my opinion on something. Like if you're in a room, if you're at like a Thanksgiving dinner, and like, you know, y'all are talking about a certain topic, I want to be the last person to give my opinion. Number one, because there's so many benefits to it. Like, number one, you can kind of hear everyone's opinion and have more time to formulate your thoughts. Number two, you don't seem like like just an ignorant a-hole, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, that's sort of something that I want to start incorporating into my life. Because I'm usually, like, I can usually formulate, I, I, I can just think so fast and think of a position that I might not really know what I'm talking about. And it might be coming from a place of ignorance we know. Or, or arrogance, <laughs> you know? Uh, We've seen it. Uh, and so, so I might just be like, you know, hey, maybe just kind of wait until everyone has, you know, said their stupid opinions and then I can come in and formulate mine. Sweet. Yes. Awesome. Love it. I have something that's not as existential and not as like life based. Okay. Um, what do you think? This is just like so random. But like, what do you think the best year for of all time music wise? Like thinking back like years and years and years, the best confined year. Year one. <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> for music of like all time like you have to think about like who was the best artist at the time like right. all genres like it's, it's a toughie this is existential. it's not existential it's not as existential as you said what, existential I, i'm sorry uh, this is my second cup of coffee <laughs> <laughs> it's like 4 p.m when x died oh please that year so 2018 or was it 2007? It was very recent. It was that's yeah. pretty flirt. That's pretty fresh. Not because he died. No, don't. Uh. I'm gonna let y'all do this one because here's the thing. I'm not like a huge. You're rap not super guy. music. I'm. I'm. I know like the classics. Tame and Paula. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, great, uh, great guys over there. I mean, it's so. I it would have to be anything in the 2000s because the music there was just like. The music there is just different. Well, we've had some good music. But I also want to include Billie Eilish in this because mm. I feel like that is just like she's such a turning point in music. Yeah. That it's like wrong to keep her out of the conversation of like when the best songs were. Maybe the her last. Music just, she's crushing it. I like the last like three years because like, you know, we grew up and we're like are like older not well, how about like you our, speak into the mic how about we do that not our parents <laughs> but like people that are older than us but near our age they like grew up with like a certain group of people but now we're like seeing the new generation of artists and i really that's really interesting to me people that i didn't know like last year yeah blow up this year mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
You know, I think last year, um, when Ariana Grande had that peak, where she was like, it was like that Thank You Next era, I think that was like a really cool like time in music, because you, I, I honestly have never seen like an artist go so fast into like every single song was a number one, like it was crazy, like everyone, like she was the biggest name out there, and like even this, or was that last year? Yeah. And like Taylor Swift's new yes, album, I like I remember bumping to some Ariana Grande. Yeah, <laughs> see, like everyone, bumping. like they, everyone knows "Thank You Next," like, and yeah. that music video, like that was insane. And with like Taylor Swift and like all, I think last year, honestly, because I mean, female they they ran they ran the music industry. So Billie Eilish, Taylor Swift. So like I will say, year, I will so. say, like as somebody that's not as involved in like pop music culture and like hip hop and all that. Like Billie Eilish is probably the most talented person. Oh my gosh, I, mean, she, I could talk all day yo, about her. And she's what, like eighteen? She just she's, turned, she's she just turned, just turned eighteen, and she's like her voice is outstanding. And like she's crushing it, dude. And it's so different. Like her, her music is so songs. different. She is so her. in herself and in original. Like we have literally ne- there's only one Billie Eilish ever, and you can mm-hmm. only say that about so many artists. Right. I've said this before, and she's like the female Post Malone. Like she's so personable. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying like equal on like skill. No, level. yeah, I'm yeah. just saying like. She's very personable, very, like, still very herself. She's very a stray away from she's anything. Not, yeah, she's yeah. not confined to, like, I'm not saying, you know, other people are, but there's some people that are, like, you have to, they're, they're like, almost scripted. Mm-hmm. Like, she is very and, herself. And it she's makes not, me, it makes me upset when everyone calls her an industry plant because I don't no, understand. I don't see that. How, I, how can you call Billie Eilish an industry plant? I understand that there's, like, this, like, oh, she's no, the no, biggest phenom and all this stuff, but, like, you can't, when she is that. so original and doing things her way, right. which I was talking to Jane about this earlier, we were talking about Billie Eilish earlier, because <laughs> I literally love her, but mm. she's, like, not afraid, she literally has no filter, like, she's not afraid to express her opinions, and she literally does not care about backlash, yeah. like, she doesn't care what people think about her, the body shaming thing, like, I think that's awesome, that like, how video. she, yeah, that video, <laughs> yeah. shout out Billie, like, you're amazing, she's never gonna hear this, but, um, <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Billy, but, come on the show. Yeah, Billy, please. Uh, Join me in the... Yeah, you in can the be live the audience. audience. <laughs> yeah. no, that would be disrespectful to put Billy Eilish in the I live know. audience. Yeah, she, oh, yeah, gosh. 100%. She no, but her. she's just leave. so, like... I wish I was, like... I wish I had her confidence. And, like, but isn't her brother, like, a part of, like... Her, her brother's a genius, yeah. and that's all. He's an amazing producer. His personal, like, music, his... Uh, I think he just goes by Phineas. He is so good. Mm. Like... They're both so original and like time. Like, honestly, they're gonna be timeless. Like, yeah. You know how we learn about like the Elvises, the Madonnas, mm-hmm. all these people. Where th- our children are gonna be learning Billie about Billie Eilish. Eilish. Yeah, hundred percent. Taylor 100%. Swift. Taylor Swift is one of a kind. See, that's yeah. crazy. That th- I was thinking about that. I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Like, what are history books gonna say about like this time, our time period? Coronavirus. Oh God, let's oh, not talk about it right now. Like, no, I let's not talk about that right now. Think. Like, what big names are going to come out of, like, our generation? Donald Trump. Donald Trump is going to be a huge yeah. Hillary Clinton. Thing. How, how divisive he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was such a racial divide after Obama was president, and now it's, like, carrying over to Trump. And now it's wor- – I, like, I never thought the racial divide was going to be worse than it was during Obama's presidency, and it's worse now. Right. Yeah. Because it's, like – well, I don't want to get well, into Well, and we're going to – the topics of, like um, – peaceful protests and right. gun violence those are th- those are things that they're going to learn about and how mm-hmm. we went around those things right. or how we attacked them how we went around and, those issues and the violent protests you can't mm-hmm. forget those violent protests those are yes probably more you know with, it, with antifa running around yeah and burning stuff and <laughs> i mean that's that's a huge part of history mm-hmm. like you can't it's just crazy you know but, and then oh also gosh, with lived in that time you know the yeah climate is ever evolving i don't want to say anything like you know but yeah. they're probably going to be learning about how we're yeah. having to deal with that yeah. yeah and i think like teslas like those are pretty teslas, cool like yeah. oh, those dude, are like the dude, future of cars Elon musk Our is a genius yeah. yeah well <laughs> we we had a topic suggestion so last week first. about uh interstellar travel yeah and and i i spoke about how we might i mean like imagine like yo Interstellar space travel is is something that is ridic- it is a ridiculous like thought experiment. Concept. It's insane. Yeah. You when you, if you if you become an interstellar traveler, you are number one, you're a time traveler because, you know, obviously you're relativity time barriers. Yeah, yes. I, I mean obviously like Einstein's theory of relativity says that, you know, time, gravity and space are all kind mm-hmm. of sort of in the same Equations, Astronomy. set mm-hmm. of equations. Oops. Uh, and so you, you're you're a time traveler. <clears throat> I mean, you're you're going. I mean, it's it's insane. So uh, I think imagine like 
we have trouble even going to Mars. Like we can't per- put a person on Mars right now. We might not even see that in the next fifty years. So we might we and you would need to solve the gravity equation, which you need a singularity to do, and we're not going to get anywhere close to a black hole. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, good luck with that. I, I don't think we can we can see interstellar travel within our lifetime. No. But uh, if we did, but isn't you it best funny? Best believe I'm going to be like in. The- oh, isn't it funny to God. think that like in the '80s they thought that this time that we're living now we would have flying cars Future, and like yeah. Yeah. that well, it would be so futuristic? And it's not that. I think that it's so amazing, like, what we do have, like, with social media and, like, the mm-hmm. access to everything and the internet and how high speed it is. Right. But it's so weird to think that this is going to be so dated to our children. Right. Like, I, yeah. the advances that we're going to make are so unpredictable yeah. that we can't even, like... You yeah. made your own coffee? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, I, like, woke myself up one night thinking about, like... Uh, and I've, I've spoken about it before, and I don't want to come off like an idiot, but... There's, I'm, I'm taking a class right now where there's still active study in. Like we don't know everything. Like we know everything about algebra, right? But I'm, I'm, I'm in a math class right now where we right. don't, we don't know, <laughs> we don't know everything. Like we are still studying, like this field, and that class is based on a on a foundation of calculus, and that calculus is based on a foundation of algebra, and algebra is based on the number line. Mm-hmm. And so if any, if if we if we're doing active research in differential equations and we figure out something that contradicts the number line or contradicts the basic concepts of algebra or even contradicts calculus, everything down that rung of information collapses because it contradicts itself. And math, by law, cannot contradict. And so we would basically have to relearn everything. Like our, our, whole, our whole, every <laughs> elementary school class where they teach yes. any sort of math, any middle school, any, any public education would have to redo their curriculum. And we would have to, re, we would have to redo everything. I and mean, this is why I'm a calm major. Exactly. Yeah, I, literally, <laughs> literally basic like Newtonian physics would collapse if we figured out anything now that contradicted what we already know. It would, it would destroy the scientific community. I'd be straight vibing. Yeah, I'd, I'd be, be vibing. Good. Yeah. Would you be good, Josh? I'd be, I'd be talking okay. in front of a camera just like we are Sick. now. Sick. Sports <laughs> media. <you. laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that, that stuff's crazy to think about. I also realized that... Uh, 0. 0.9 repeating, you know, with the bar over the top. Mm-hmm. Y'all seen that? Uh, the assume. bar over the top. 3.9 is, is equal to 1, and I can prove it. Let's not get into that right now. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. I'll fall asleep. Later. <laughs> I believe you. 0. 0. 0. 0.9 right? repeating <laughs> is equal to 1, and I, I can prove you. it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to need a very big whiteboard, <laughs> and I'm going to need... Yeah. It's, it's, a really, yeah. it's a really fun thing. But uh, anyway. Sick. All right, your death row meal. Oh, shoot. Okay, here we go. A Whataburger patty melt. Oh. I might need two of those. Hot no onions, please. What? Get out of here. No. Yeah, I ate, I ate a bad part. onion at McDonald's when I was like 10, and now I can't with fast food it's onions. It's different. We I, have fresh onions. I, under- I understand, but oh my God. I'm scared of onions now. Yes. yes. Me Even though onions have Have you ever layers. seen people eat like raw onions, like apples? Have you seen the, when you take an elderberry and it changes like the... Uh, taste buds in your mouth and it makes everything that's like um like sour an onion sweet. sour sweet yeah. and people are just like biting into onions yeah and they're they're and like it, it doesn't sweet. even taste yeah mm-hmm. hold on i really want to try it's that it's like a gummy isn't it or like yeah a- it's, it's like a tablet or something yeah. i don't think they sell oh, them in stores it into a lemon and it made it taste like lemonade. yeah oh my god we're gonna yo yeah. we gotta do it on we, the show oh my gosh i'll come back yeah <laughs> i'll come back i'll be back a hundred percent um yeah that's wild all right go oh, I, oh great yeah you said patty melt yes patty melt oh gosh Come on, we're in Texas. It's got to be something water burger. We know you've been all over well, the place, I would but say patty melt too. I put her on a patty melts. Yeah, you did. You, it's it's okay, so staple. Yeah. yeah okay. Dang, dude. I would have, uh, what's his name? Wolfgang Puck. He's what's like, up? Wolfgang Puck. He's that uh that I mean he's like one of. Does the Wolfgang favorite. Puck cook for criminals or? I, that would be how the, how I are we how are we gonna pull that off? Yeah. I I don't I would refuse to die. Unless All right. yeah. Make a Wish oh. Foundation Make teams a, up yeah. my gosh. with, with <laughs> the, the three, state penitentiary. It's a three-course meal from Wolfgang Puck. Okay. okay. Because I would not be able to get that any other way. Mine would be, since I'm a big eater, I would have half a patty melt, half a sweet and spicy bacon burger, Ooh. large fries, chocolate shake, oh, sweet tea, a Ruth's Chris, <laughs> medium to medium rare tomahawk. Okay. Mm. I'd have also, I'd have my dad bring me some of his ribs. Oh my gosh. You've had my dad's ribs. Oh my lord. You've had my dad's ribs. Yeah. Oh 
My dad's ribs are famous. Shout hot out, tamales. Dad. Hi, I love you. Who makes your hot tamales? Grandma? What? Your grandma makes your hot tamales? Oh, yeah. yeah my yeah, grandma. Those. My grandma's tamales, too. Oh, yeah. Shout out. Shout um, out my grandma. Yeah. Like Sorry, chicken. Mom. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's that's pretty well known around <laughs> Seastar. Uh, I think Alex say. would do fried rice. The bagged the fried, bag rice? fried rice? Yes. From, from, from Walmart. Minute rice. M I N I T. Uh huh. Minute. Let's get on with the show. Uncle Ben. And some hot tamales. With hot, hot sauce. Hot chips. Hot chips. Hot, hot chips. Fries. Hot, yeah. fries. hot fries. Scratch I everything I said before, just hot fries. I, hot fries. I forgot how, how about you speak into the mic? I was leaning back and I had this 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 thought. Epiphany. Thought. That I like Takis. I hadn't had one Those in like are, well are right. over two years. Takis are good. They're really uh, uh, like sour. Yeah. Okay. No. We uh, Last episode, we went over a candy bracket. Um, and it, oh, came, it came down to Snickers and Sour Patch slash, ah, slash Sour Patch Watermelon. Snickers. Which is better? I saw this and I voted. I, I think I did. I voted Sour Patch. I think you did. Yeah. yeah. I voted Sour Patch. Snickers. Snickers. It's still two. It's still lock up. It's two two. It's yeah. sour patch. Sour patch. Wait, we do have. You can't. We do have an oh. audience member that can't. Oh, oh. oh. Well, audience, break the tie. Here we go. Break the tie. Okay. Remember, remember, sour patch watermelon is in the, is in the discussion. Okay. Let me come to the yeah, come on. Oh, come yeah, on. yeah, come on. Come on in, everybody. Welcome, Jaina. It is a come poll in. that is open. Okay. Yes. We'll share the mic. I, um, I'm Jaina. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, today. So I mean, honestly, I like them both, especially sour patch watermelon. Of course. Uh-huh. I think the blue Sour Patch Kids have an advantage over all of other flavors. Oh, yes. Of course. Absolutely. Um, but Snickers, I mean, you've got chocolate, peanut butter, like all the flavors. Caramel, caramel. nougat. Oh, but yeah. if you're allergic to peanuts, oh. you can't vote for a Snickers. That's true. Oh. I, I, also, also, hold on. Let me add to this. Or nuts. Either if they you make them with leave, almonds, If you, you leave can't. Snickers in the car, you know how disgusting it is to exactly. eat melted chocolate? If you leave if you leave Sour Patch in the car, it's just all one gummy. You can take bites out of that gummy. And, like, no one's allergic to gummies, really. No. Like, there's yeah, not... No. The, the, the rarity of someone being allergic to gummies is Does not it have gluten? The, Does it have gluten? I don't think so. But I think okay. it's a disadvantage for Snickers. That, of course. Because people can't vote for them because they're so good. That is. Yeah. So, I mean, if I were to have a last meal mm-hmm. and my dessert would Ooh. have to either be Snickers I'm still going or Sour, yeah, sour yeah, Patch, yeah, sure. anything, I think I would have to choose Ooh. Snickers. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh! No! 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 Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> what? Goodbye. Like, right. you have Gosh. to be in the mood for, like, something sour. Okay. Like, it's sour, sour, then it's water. sweet. That's the whole thing. Oh, my it's God. It's sour, like, you gotta then be it's in the sweet. Mood. Like, who's, like, I'm who always in the mood. Who turns down a Snickers? Unless Nobody turns down Sour Patch Watermelon. You have to be in the mood. No. no. I have turned down Snickers before, but I have yet I to have turn down Sour Patch. not, ever. I've never turned down either. I mine full last night, and I ate half a bag of Sour Patch Watermelon. No. Oh. I have that to be being in As a Snickers voter. Okay. You switching parties over there, Joe Biden? So, I went... Oh. In elementary school, I had this friend named Sean, and he was allergic to the cocoa bean. So he eat chocolate. <laughs> the cocoa the, bean. The way he said it, the cocoa bean. The, the, the cocoa, cocoa bean. bean. The cocoa he bean. been getting bullied about it for like a straight week. That's such a stupid thing to get bullied about. Oh, you can't eat chocolate? Well, it wasn't that. It was, mmm, so good. Like, Ryan, people would bring like a bunch of king-size Hershey's to lunch just to like eat it in front of him. One day I see this kid open up his lunchbox with just a king size Hershey's bar and uh, an EpiPen. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and he ate that thing. That <laughs> is something I would do. I and yeah. yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Nice. Just, I think we can all attest. Yeah. Was oh, it during, sure. was it after the coronavirus outbreak? This was elementary school. Oh. Never mind. I forget. I'm gonna, uh, if anyone wants to know, I'm going to make an album called After the Coronavirus. <laughs> um. <laughs> Life, it will only be life after the life coronavirus. after the coronavirus. What do we do? And How do we? What? Yeah, that's the title track. What do we do? What, what do we do? And yeah. then there's where do we go? Where do we go? Um, <laughs> Who does are anyone we? have food? Yeah. <laughs> um, Where's paper? the toilet paper? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. start throwing toilet paper at people's houses. Like, I'm going to TP everyone's houses when this is over. You spread it with toothpaste. Oh, yeah. Toothpaste and TP uh, just yes, everywhere because y'all are insane. I, like, I, will y'all say, are, I will say the funniest thing that people are, like, hoarding. Well, I guess it makes sense to a degree, but people are like, if you want to talk about like people going crazy and buying mass amounts of toilet milk. paper and toothpaste and milk, milk goes Ew. bad. There's in my people, opinion. there's people that are panic buying like weapons. For yeah. What? Corona For sale. What? Corona sale. Flash sale. Flash sale. A hundred rounds of of, of freaking two two three ammo and five five six. Know. Come down to five eleven tactical and get your the zombie apocalypse. <sighs> and like, what are y'all gonna do? Like, y'all are literally not gonna get 
Like, you're not going to need toilet paper for, like, no, years. No. Like, literally, y'all are panic buying this stuff so bad. It's just... No, I, will I, say, saw, I saw a headline that was, like, a woman... A, some, like, lady bought... Accidentally bought, like, toilet paper for, like, 12 years. Oh, you know what we were saying? What? Extreme. It would be um, an amazing thing to be an extreme couponer right now and have that oh, stockpile. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because normally, it's a lot of non-perishables and stuff like toilet right. paper and right. toothpaste yeah. and razors. Of and course. Like, are y'all going to brush your teeth more than normally? Oh, are you going to wipe Maybe. more than normally? No. <laughs> yeah, you could, I mean, I guess if you're eating a lot of ramen. That's what I'm saying. If you're just yeah. stuck you're inside just stuck eating. Home, if you're just stuck eating. Well, then don't eat. I, oh, okay. uh, don't eat, eat. Don't eat every single. Ladies and gentlemen, don't eat. Don't, don't eat. Yeah, do, do, do more. Don't eat. <laughs> do less. Do, yeah. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna say? No, but it's not a time to like panic eat or panic no, buy no, or no. no. And like they're still letting do. us go we, out. Like you just have to be very. Think. I'm so scared okay. of Josh. I will, anyway, I will say. I, I will say that the, I saw like kind of a goofy. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. I would say kind of like a goofy uh, conspiracy. Not a goofy conspiracy. It probably has a lot of weight to it, but a, bu- a bunch of these senators uh, are being uh, looked at for insider trading. Because mm-hmm. when, the, have when the stock market crashed due this. to the coronavirus stock outbreak, market? the stock market stock crashed. Market. Do, <laughs> the stock market <laughs> crashed <laughs> due to <laughs> the trees Petey. <laughs> the Bengals. It was a trees Petey. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it was a trees Petey. <laughs> trees Petey. When 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 the stock when the stock I can't. God, Jesus. The stock market. The, the stock the, market when, because when, of the tree when, when, when Tony Stark <laughs> crashed the stock market. The stock market. Yes. When when the stock market <laughs> crashed due to the coronavirus, a lot of senators prior to that sold all their mm-hmm. stock, and so they're getting looked at for, for insider what? trading because obviously they might have known something. And it was like five senators, so that's like way too many people to be coincidence. And, and, right. and it's not senators who have. It's, it's not really any senators who are, like, the way that I say this, like, big names. Like, you would, like, Ted Cruz. Everyone knows who he is yeah. because of, like, his profile yeah. and stuff like that. It's AOC, not, it's not like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not senators like that. It's senators that you would never expect. Right. And that also brings into the question, like, why do these people know things and the other senators, maybe they still do, but right. why aren't they as yeah. Right, yeah. prevalent in this? Yeah. So. I just realized I said AOC. She's a congresswoman. She's a, she's a congresswoman. Yeah, yes. different. Mm-hmm. It's not different. Not uh, not the same. She's still a different. political figure. Though. Very yes. yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's a little sketchy. It's a little sketchy. We might need the, to do some. The timing in there. of it all is a little bit. Right. Yeah, it's just kind of we. It's kind of a stretch to say it's a coincidence when like so many people are selling all their stocks days before the stock market crash. Mm-hmm. Come on, we need to look into that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's probably the, okay. Have you heard? I want to do some research in it. But have you heard of the Titanic conspiracy? Uh, I've heard of many. So, so like the one that I'm hearing is that the Titanic that's at the bottom of the ocean right now isn't the Titanic. It's, it's so where the, is the Titanic? It's the car, okay, so there was so you know that there was two ships made at the exact mm-hmm. same time. It was the Titanic <laughs> and like the Carpathia or the Carpathia mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, they're both identical. They're both the exact same ship. One of them was fit for uh, more like research uh, kind of deals. One of them was, a, a, you know, a luxury cruise liner. So the, the the conspiracy is is because they went down there and apparently like the lettering on the Titanic on like the side has like an R in it, hmm. and it's different than Titanic. Obviously, Titanic, Titanic. doesn't have an R. Right. And, Tar- Tur- and, Tar- the, Titanic. And, and obviously, the Carpathia does have an R. Mm-hmm. There's also like different like serial numbers on the side that are different. Um, and so what they're saying is, oh, and the the other point of, of evidence is that the, the owner of the Titanic said that he was going to go on the ship, decided right before that the ship uh, launched that he wasn't going to go on the ship because he was sick. And like two days later, him and his daughter were seen like walking around in public, like he was hmm. fine. Hmm. So what they're saying is that they switched the ships. The Carpathia was the one that sunk. And the Titanic was claimed to be sunk, but they did it to, to claim that insurance money, mm, okay. which would be a lot of money because the Titanic was an expensive yes. freaking boat. So that's the conspiracy. My thing is, and it's been done before. So many of these things have been like, like, like purposefully destroyed for the insurance money. Like there's people that, that, you know, get in divorces, let's say, and mm-hmm. have all this money in their mansion. And when they leave, they burn down the house to get the insurance money. Dang. My okay. Yeah. My thing is with the Titanic. I understand that at the time it was like this gargantuan boat, and like no one really knew how to like combat or like really knew like where they were going. It was a fir- it was a test run, and okay. But you see an iceberg, 
Mm-hmm. Like, we, we don't know the... There's just guesses on to how big this iceberg was, but it, it's going to sink a gigantic boat. Right. Like, it had to be very big. Mm-hmm. Whoever is driving the... Is that driving the boat? Steering. Sailing, sailing, steering, steering whatever. Steering whoever is... Oh, whoever Who's is, the captain? Yeah, whoever, whoever the yeah. captain is, either was not paying attention... Or did not see it and try and steer clear of it. And I understand it's probably very big and it's hard to move that boat. Mm. But I think it could have been avoided if there was, like, things. Well, the the story for the longest time was that it's such a, a long boat. And they were going, they were trying to go so fast because they wanted to beat the record to get to London. Um, and, or Weren't they coming to, to the York. United States? Yeah, they, they were, were coming, coming to, from They were London, coming yeah. from London to New York. Mm-hmm. So they were, try- no. they were trying, no. <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to beat that time. So they were going so fast, and so they couldn't really turn mm. at that rate. But that's just the story. I don't know. Again, if it's all for insurance money, it was set up. Right. Uh, the other point to note is that, and this is documented too, the rivets that were put in weren't welded in. They were just stuck mm-hmm. in. So the whole ship is resting on these rivets that could, I mean, you could literally take a hammer and just swing at these things, and they would pop out. Oof. Mm. Now, again... When you study statics, a lot of all, all the tension force on these those things, you can't. It's not like me as tension force always getting stronger. I'm just saying, it, like the load <laughs> always on, getting stronger. The load on these rivets, you can't just like poke them out and they'll fall out. I mean, you gotta have a, 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 a an immense amount of force to like hit these things out. But it's still not as strong as if you weld them in. I mean, you ever seen a, like a rivet mm-hmm. get welded in? They, it's just it's just one single cylinder that they stick in a hole between two pieces of metal, and they will weld it in to make it like a knot. And it's like a hot piece of metal. And it, so it's kind of like, it glues it in, basically. Right. Um, but yeah, so that's another point, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they didn't think to do that. That's well, sort of weird that they, it's really not a coincidence that they would just forget to weld in the rivets. Right. That's got to be like a contractor's call. But mm-hmm. why would you do that? And it's just like, I don't know. It's suspicious that like, you would think you'd be extra careful in steering and where you're going, mm-hmm. considering it's a whole like, you know, you got, new thing. I mean, how many people were on it? Like, a was lot. it 200 or 2,000? I, I can look that up. Yeah, look. Yeah, I want. I, it's either two hundred two or two thousand, or close to two thousand. Because you would just maybe fourteen hundred map out extra hard or be yeah. like extra careful where yeah. you're going. So yeah, how does you, that happen? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he was simping. Maybe, maybe he was simping. Yeah. You know what? I did see a TikTok that said that the 1920s and 2020s is very parallel with like the pandemic going yes. on in the mm-hmm. stock market. Stock market also, yeah. simping because uh, Jay Gatsby. Oh, Jay Gatsby. Was Jay Gatsby a, was, was a simp. simp. <laughs> Jay Gatsby, Jay Gatsby was, a was a simp. He obviously 100%. was not real. No. <laughs> he obviously was not real, but he was a simp. He it is in the simp. same time period, and we simp. do have simps now. Yes. Right. There was about 3,300 people. 3,000 people? The For Titanic could money. carry up to 2,435 passengers, and a crew of approximately 900 brought her capacity to more than 3,300 people. I love how they call it a her. Mm-hmm. Like, they call ships her. her. Yes, yeah. her. Like why? She so graceful her her she's so pretty graceful <laughs> um yeah and then just the the tiktok her 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 and then the one i showed you her yes. yeah yes. uh okay it's just so different so we've come we've kind of come to the conclusion um that, that so here and now what's up it's settled that it was a conspiracy. yeah here and now it's a conspiracy the titanic isn't real boom um we've come to the conclusion that this apartment is haunted mm. it is and I know I haven't been here in a while, but there has there there are some little like things that happen that the light weird. we have lights all around our TV and they will like come on and Flick come on off. And off. When yeah. when you like step though, hard, it's like yeah, hard you, enough. If I'll walk out of my room, which is right there, right next to the TV, sometimes mm-hmm. I'll turn on. Mm-hmm. Like why why? I am. I think, yeah. I, <laughs> I know I know for sure that the LEDs are just like an electrical glitch. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's no coincidence that every time I walk out of my room, well, and you're think about don't it. do that. I mean, the vibrations that you walk in could trigger, like... Oh, my vibes? My vibes are throwing no, it off? Like your, the my vibrations vibes. of your feet could, like, shake. Or good vibes. They're just... But then you know, Alexa turning on turned lights. on. No, yeah, so here's the thing. So She's off right now. She cannot... Well, I think she's on she, she, wa- she was off. Because that, that thing's been red for, like, a week. Mm. No, I turned the red off. Like, so she was just, like, off. It's yeah, on, like, mute. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, uh, the other day we started this puzzle. And the, b- the board on the refrigerator fell. Mm-hmm. We were, when we were all sitting... And there wasn't like no a vibration. Was Nobody was yeah. moving. We were all sitting doing a puzzle, and the thing on the like refrigerator fell off. Which okay, whatever. Um, and then the Alexa felt like the Alexa just like when nobody was I'm talking. I'm so glad I was not home. Nobody, oh, so no, nobody was so talking. Weird. There was three people here. Nobody was saying a word. We were all doing a puzzle. Alexa went off and asked us like something, mm-hmm. and we were just like, "What's going on?" Yeah. Uh, and then something else happened. Your lights always turn off. 
Or remember we had that whole thing where yeah, the, the the power kept cutting off and, and we would turn it off. Yeah, flick off. Yeah. But it was that was weird. That was very weird. There was something else that happened though too. There was three things that I forget. It was that. It was the. It was I the, can also the TV add. TV turned off. The, oh, oh or the TV on. turned. No, the TV turned on. We didn't have anything on. playing. The TV turned on. That's no happened. One was near the that's remote. happened to me yeah. before. Yeah, that's happened to I was me like, before. Hello? So those three things happened, and then was that before or after you said that you like felt something weird like looking at you? Ew! Stop! I'm going home. <laughs> And it was from. Was that before or after? Uh, Thank you for telling me this. It was, yeah. It, yeah, it was in that corner. I don't know. But Might anyway. Have been before. Anyway, yeah. So, like, so I felt. Was, was that? I was over by the Somebody's coffee maker. Me. And Alex had gone to the gym, so I was here, like, by myself. And it was, like, clo- it was a cloudy day, so it was, like, kind of dark, whatever. And so, like, for some reason. Like, you just have that feeling that someone's, like, looking at you. So, I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, I don't really want to turn around. Like, I don't know what I'd do if I, like, You know what? I think something. it's the stuff that I packed up yesterday. And I think we should just get rid get of it. Get rid of all of it. Yeah. yeah. I think, Throw I think it, it's burn that. it. Yeah. yeah. But, no, well, no, maybe not that. But, but well, yeah. Okay. okay. So, I was, <laughs> I was over by you the should edit that out. <laughs> and, I don't know. I was just, like, felt something, like, like, I don't know, like, looking at me. I don't know <laughs> if it was, like, looking, but just, like, a presence. And I was, like... Uh, and it was like over by Alyssa's corner of the room. I hate it here. And so, or like her door's closed, like she hadn't been home. Whatever. I hate it here. And I was just like, like what the heck? So I like go, went in my room, and I just like continuously would like look out here for some odd reason. I don't know. And you, I just felt like something. Was no, like but there. I, I think I felt that before too. Like it, it's just sometimes when I'm here alone, I get kind of scared. Weird. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I want Alex to come home right now. So one, yeah. I can annoy her, and two, I don't feel scared. <laughs> I, don't have to one, be alone. I told this story for the first time last episode. Um, but this might freak y'all out. So like me and me, 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 me and Austin, me and Austin were talking about how like we're very like perceptive of like people, like certain people. Mm-hmm. Like we have like a sense of discernment whether or not we like them or not Which for whatever reason. Nope, not, <laughs> not at all, <laughs> not at all. Um, and so, but then he started talking about like, and I, I didn't know like it was like I thought I was the only one, but he, he then he started talking about like I can kind of feel mm-hmm. like where certain like you know things are like the way you felt like whatever was in that right. corner like i like he was like he was saying how i can like kind of sense some like a pre not a presence but maybe it is i don't just know a weird feeling, just a yeah. weird feeling like and it feels like something's watching you yeah and then he was like i can generally tell where it is and i was like okay i gotta tell you a story yeah so this was back when i was homeschooled i was probably like five or six and uh i was homeschooled so i was up in the upstairs like my dad's study but it was like where the the classroom was right so my mom went down sta- – oh, and so, again, th- this room, you have to understand, like, so if this is, like, the wall, uh, this is the wall that you walk in, like, my desk is here, there's, like, places to – we got, like, the, the alphabet up on, this, like, the wall or whatever. It's basic five-year-old, like, study space. Uh, this wall right here – so here's, like, here's like the door, and then this wall, uh, right when – like, I guess it would be to the left of where you walk in is just a bunch of different closets. It's, it's kind of like y'all's um, – it's – Okay, there you go. Yeah. It's 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 kind of like y'all's closets in there where they kind of like fold open. Yeah. So this whole wall is closets that fold open. So it's closet space, and then on the very end is a door to the attic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I didn't know that there's an attic at this point. I'm five. Okay. Um, and I didn't really even know what's in. I I, I I didn't even know what's in like th- those those doors. I just thought it was just space. Right. Um. So. All of a sudden, I'm so I so again. If I'm sitting facing the wall here, I can't see what's behind me. I can't, I, I'm not looking there. All of a sudden, and it's like broad daylight, you right? So my mom goes downstairs for something. I forget, I, it's not important what she's down there for, but she leaves and I'm by myself uh, in this room. And all of a sudden I feel like that presence, and it's the first time I've ever felt that way. I feel like something's watching me and I'm, I get really, really scared and anxious and nervous and I like want to look behind me, mm-hmm. but I don't. And I remember I'm thinking, so scared. I remember, I rem- <laughs> I'm so scared. I, I rem- <laughs> this is like watching Midsummer again. This gets crazy. This gets crazy. Okay, this gets crazy. Cool. I remember thinking that like it was like in my head, I saw like a skull. <laughs> did you just fart? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm scared. Yeah. It's like that I'm video scared. where she's like, did anybody hear that? Yes. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> in my, so, so, in, so get this in my <laughs> head. I know I, I feel something I feel something in that back right corner where the where the where like the attic actually is. I don't know that that's where the attic is. Right. In that corner. And it's a whole door. You can open it and walk in to the attic. Whole it's door. a what to walk in attic. Yes. Uh so I feel something in that corner and I know it's in that corner. And in my head I'm picturing like a floating like skeleton. 
just like staring at me and like smiling with a big like teethy smile and it's like sort of on fire i'm scared i'm peeing okay I'm peeing. <laughs> so get this so get this like oh my gosh there's no re and this is wild bro um so i'm bro. i wild, bro. yeah so i wild, obviously bro. don't look and i'm like shaking because i'm so scared and like anxious because it's like oh, five-year-old so, alex i know it's gross it's just- <laughs> um, so when my mom gets up, she's obviously like notices that I'm like shook. Mm-hmm. I'm shooketh. <laughs> shooketh. I'm shook. I, I am shaking. Shooketh. Shaking is a symptom and, of the coronavirus. So, <laughs> yeah. So Thank so you. so I tell her. So I tell her. So I tell her. I tell her what I'm thinking, and I'm like, "Yo, is there, I, mom? I, I'm scared of that corner, or whatever." I, I forget what I said, but I basically communicated what I was thinking, what I was feeling. Right, right. She opens up like the folding doors, and the attic doors open. Oh hell to the no! <laughs> the attic door is Uh-oh. open, and she's like, "There's no reason for this to be." Open. I would have moved clo- out. She yeah, closes no. it, Mm-mm. and she, she was just like, "All right, we're done for the day." See, uh-uh, the power of Christ compels thing. you. No, okay. I would have moved out. You know what we need to do? Like, set up a camera in here and let it just like. I don't know lapse. if I'm ready for that. I, have, See, I, I want have to do. Can we do it right have, when we're like, moving the, out? The equipment for like the energy readings. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. I think we need to do that. I don't know if we do. Like, do they need to be bothered? I don't know. What I happened? just want to know. What happened in College Station that there's something right here that's like... Know. The freaking murder. Wait, are we allowed to talk about that? No, no. I don't think we should, but... Yeah. I don't think that that's in our... <laughs> I don't uh, think that that's in our apartment, that they energy. Haven't, they haven't, like... We'll, we'll get into it later. We'll talk about it later. Well, yeah, we we'll can't... Because it, it was on the news. There was, like, somebody was... alleged. True. Somebody was allegedly murdered, like, Did right something just in, hit the side of our... It was a car door. Oh, okay. I was like... So, uh, there was there was an uh, alleged homicide in, like... <laughs> the type of The type of apartments next to us. Uh, yeah. And it, it was... It was a, yeah, it yeah. was... It was uh, in the apartments right next to this one. Yes. And so... They don't. They haven't really disclosed. No, and I haven't. Uh, I don't but, think I brought but this. Was, but it was a girl. It was a female college. I don't think I brought this up either to like add to it. But like doors, whenever the AC is off, like it is right now, mm-hmm. the doors close sometimes. And yeah, I, I've seen that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. whenever the AC's on, you can kind of the suck. You know. Yeah. yeah. But section. whenever the doors are closed or a little bit slightly open, and the door just kind of, it's, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Mm-hmm. It's a little weird. I really want to do it. I, I mean, I think we should, we but should just investigate. You know that like attic door in my room? Yes. Yeah. Well, like the one that you put a hole in, or next to <laughs> the one with the hole next to it. Yeah. The Austin. Shout out to Austin. The Austin put a hole shout in. Out to, <laughs> shout out to Austin. I didn't do it, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but so no, uh, there's been like a couple. That door has always oh, scared okay. me since like day mm-hmm. one of being well, in that, that room. That's where your that's where your sleep paralysis demon was. That's yeah. Where it came out of. Well, no, like one, I remember one time it was like over the summer. That thing just flew open because like I couldn't get it to Mm-mm. lock. The power so just, of Christ like, compels as you. Closed as it did, but it never like sways or it leaves where you leave the door. Gross. And one time it just flew open and like I chop it up to like me being like ah in no. the little mind game. <laughs> but like I swear like the shadow from like no light in there was like leaking out. Oh. Like something took a step out of there. That's weird. And I was like I was playing games and I was like yeah. <laughs> Dad! Oh see, now what do you do if no. like you record and like you see stuff? What do you do? Well, like that, you know that I story. Am, where, I'm like, a man the of chick, prayer. I try to be. Yes. You know amen. where the chick was like living in the dude's house. And, oh yes. Yeah, and he record. He had like in like video, his loft, and or he something. was like, w- no, it was like her food pantry. Yeah. And he was like watching the video in his kitchen while she's still there living in the pantry yeah it, it wasn't a go it was a real person living oh. in this guy's house and he he noticed that his food was going away but he like wasn't oh eating it so he set up a camera because he thought it was paranormal mm-hmm. right it was a real whole ass grown so it woman a, it was a squatter oh yeah just, oh but, my god but, but, but like normally squatters live in like abandoned places mm-hmm. she was yeah. living in a, a house with like him and he was what? watching the video with her like right there within like open, i would have like, grabbed a bat and a gun and just been like get out of my house oh. No, yeah, I would have been watching that like, here. hmm, right? Uh-uh, right there, not in yeah. my house. Uh-uh. Hmm, I wonder if she's still there. Yeah. Well, no, like he could I'm see go on the, the bathroom, the, he could see on the video Dang. that she was in there. Like he knew like 100% she was Like there. how do you, you even go forward with right. that? Because now you're like, "Oh my gosh, someone is in my no, house." He right. just like left and called the cops. Oh, uh, like, yeah, right. Yes, right. Like, Police. Yes. One one, there's a woman in my pantry. There's a squatter in my pantry. Like act normal. And then like get out and then yeah. Come oh, yeah. that's well, uh-uh. I know me I, like because he I I think it was like he just stayed quiet, got yeah. his phone, went outside and called the cop and I'm like, 
oh she in there and then like left you the house would, and yeah, yeah you would have i would have hey down in texas we fight so i would have grabbed a <laughs> bat and a gun and been like you have get three out. seconds to get out of my house i am still calling the well, cops they're gonna fence on, you in she's on like pcp or whatever it is where she like doesn't feel de- dying okay okay so you, i would call she the doesn't cops. have to feel it but she will die on my i house. would call <laughs> the cops and then confront her and if she does not get out of my house in three seconds there's a thing called self-defense you are in my house unwanted you right. are trespassing i have every right to do yes. everything in my power to protect myself if i feel necessary absolutely I amen one, someone amen, tried amen. Into, someone tried to come into our house one time what's uh, up i was like home alone and that's I was, the worst house to was, invade by the way yeah <laughs> and i was just downstairs chilling watching tv with the dogs oh you i remember you telling me about and this. rogue halls yeah, halls to course. the back door and starts barking and i was like what this is a squirrel, but she's never been that aggressive with a squirrel. And I round the corner of, like, that little divider from the back door to the backyard, and I just see this, like, dude with a black hood. Oh, and, like, absolutely not. On. I would have started Messing swinging. The lock. He's got the, like, door open. Mm-mm. And she's just barking, and he's, like, looking at her, and then he, like, looked at me. And was, I'm like, swinging. Oh. And then he was just gone. For, forget, was, forget no. like, your dad and what he could do to a human. Rogue will mess you up. So it's what you would think, but she's just the she's just the bark. I'm just saying, if you saw, if I saw that dog, yeah, yeah, if I saw that dog, I'm pooping myself. Yeah, <laughs> see, I mean, Rogue's an adorable little. See, puppy. I love having it's a baseball a family tenure. because we've yeah. uh, we've got 80 million bats in our yeah. house. Yeah. So if anyone ever tries to come, and I mean we have other things, but we've got lots of bats. Yeah. like I can probably find eight. That's what are under my bed. The gang we have will have. Yes, yeah. they're all. Yeah, good. they have footballs. <laughs> we have bats. Taylor's, no, so. it's um. That like country star where she's a like, catcher's mitt too. Just throw it at you. I took a Louisville Shut slugger to both, both headlines. I called my in. name in all the time. Uh, shout out Carrie Underwood before shout he cheats. Shout out Carrie Underwood. Come on the show. Come, Come on the show, show. Carrie. Come, Come on. The show, oh Carrie. my God. Let's talk about country music. Yeah, absolutely. Um, sh- oh, also we gotta say, uh, rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. Died yes, today peace, at Kenny. 81. I, um, uh, you were my island in the stream, mm-hmm. my friend. Wow. And I just watched the Dolly Parton. She like put something yeah. on social media, and she was like, "Oh man, I know he's in a better place." Oh, and she's just God. like, she's like, tears. Love me some tears, Dolly. Dolly's tears. the best. You We've had this conversation. To you love Dolly. That I can't oh, let's explain. let's. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Me just put you your head on my shoulder. We've got something going on. The fact that he has such a good like country singer voice, yeah. like you really, yeah, it, yeah. when we sing Neon Moon, oh, like it's just song. different. That's it's a, just that's different. Such a great song. When we sing any Brooks and Dong, Brooks and Dong, Brooks and, Brooks and, Brooks and, and Dong. Oh God, we're <laughs> cutting. We are cutting that out. <laughs> Brooks oh and my Dongs. gosh. We'll fix it in post. Yes. That means we're not gonna fix it in post. But oh God, I, Brooks and Dunn. Yeah. Yes. Any Brooks and Dunn song. Oh, it's, and a great, and Dunn. Yeah. it's a great. Yeah, it's a great. It's a great. Brand new man. Love him. That's a great one. Love him. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How what how far are we this? What is going on? It, it's been it's it. been a while. It's been a minute twelve. Sick. Wrap it up. A, a uh, minute twelve. We can go ahead and wrap it up. A An minute hour. 12. Oh, I was like. Good night. Bedtime. <laughs> Bedtime. <laughs> Bedtime. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, go follow the Patreon. Uh, go become a patron. Go, go become a patron. I always mess that up. Yeah, you do. <laughs> a patron. Uh, we have three tiers on there. We got the intern. Okay, we got the producer, and we got the executive producer. Uh, we got. Bonus content, by the way, we got to make a bonus episode shortly here. Ghost hunting in here. Ghost hunting in here. We will live stream yes. it for the, oh, for the throne room. Yes. Get your stuff. You have your, we'll do it this weekend. I mean, come on. Absolutely. Focus I'm here now. for it. <laughs> yeah. We can, oh, I'm, I'm, I have no problem with that. Uh, but we got a, we got a lot of bonus content out there for y'all. We'll give you shout outs. We'll give you all, all the good stuff. Um, if you want to do something easier, uh, go to iTunes and Apple podcast and give us a review and a five star rating. You, you, you don't have to say anything nice. You can say... Uh, your method of putting on peanut butter in your in, in your freaking PB and J. You can t- say your favorite dog. You can say, uh, you know, I, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just it's it's some weird algorithm that it's it's helping. It's, it just helps out the show. Whatever. Uh, you can go follow the Throner on, on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Be a part of our topic topic suggestions. Be a part of any other poll we got going on. Um, I can't talk today. No. No. Um, or any other day. Yeah, Trees Petey and Petey. the Bengals, uh, the Bengals and Brooks and Dong. Brooks and Dong. Uh, <laughs> go follow Alyssa on Instagram. She's tagged and everything. Yes. Go follow my gorgeous woman. Uh, oh, that's not me. That's not <laughs> me. Go follow the the, the co-host of the show, uh, J Pink Nineteen. Go follow me. You know where to find me. Uh, other than that, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks and gig 'em. Howdy later. Ta ta. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Oh my god. <gasps> I've, I've never been more nails. stressed in my life. 